jelly. Mix the ingredients in any jelly mix which is readily available near your house and ensure that there are no lumps left behind. Next, boil 500 ml of water on medium flame and add the mixture after you turn off the gas. Once the prepared mix is added, stir continuously until fully dissolved. Immediately keep the glasses or bowls ready to pour the liquid jelly. Fill only one third of the glass with the mixture. The mixture will thicken as it cools. If you see, I have taken transparent glasses. If you take a transparent container, the three divisions will show very distinctly and that will be a good presentation. Refrigerate for about 45 minutes to 1 hour without stirring. Next up is the pudding. For the pudding, you will need 2 packets of biscuits and crush them to form powder. Crush the biscuits, you can either use the mixer like I have used it or you can put it in a plastic bag and you can use the rolling pin to crush them into the powder form. Add about 400 grams of vanilla ice cream and use a blender to mix them to form a thick paste. I suggest add ice cream and blend simultaneously to achieve the desired consistency and ensure that it's not too thin. Now, to get a light pink colour to your pudding, add a few spoons of rose syrup so you get a nice colour and keep mixing it simultaneously. Also, in case you do not have rose syrup at your house and you have some extra jelly left, all you can do is you can add the extra jelly to your mixture and it will give that light colour. Lastly, mix everything with a spoon to ensure that it's even and consistent and not too thin or not too thick like the one that I've made and your pudding is ready.
Before you serve the dessert, for the garnishing, I like it best with a scoop of vanilla ice cream and a strawberry flavored biscuit or fruits on top. But if you are not a fan of ice cream, you could simply add the topping of your choice, and voila, the dessert's ready. So here's the dessert. I just love the way all the colors look. Please ensure you dig it all the way to the bottom to get a flavor of all the three layers. So guys, I'm going to enjoy this biscotti jelly and you can also make yours and uh, it's going to be like a great party dessert. You can make it with different colored jellies and you can uh, also put fresh fruits on the top if you have some. For example, on this you could put strawberries but since we are not having those right now, I couldn't put them. So... Uh, Bye and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. try this one at your house it's very easy to make and do share with us the pictures and do comment below bye